not on the agenda, but let's say the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, so this is a special meeting of the Oaks Public School Board. We're at the Oaks Public Schools Conference Room. It's Tuesday, April 26, 7.29 a.m. The meeting's been called to order. All board members are present. The business manager resignation. We all received yesterday uh, an email from our business manager announcing that she has accepted a new position. And um, as you know, this is one of only two positions that report directly to the board. So this is something we need to act on. Um, is there a motion with regard to the business manager resignation? If not, then we'll just adjourn. <laughs> well, with much regret, I will move that we accept the resignation. There's been a motion by Nagel to accept April Herring's resignation. Is there a second? Is there a second? I'll second. Thorpe seconds. Um, so for discussion and um, for the benefit of the public, um, as I said earlier, the, the, both the business manager and the superintendent report directly to the board. So this is not um, something that we can uh, we can delegate the hiring of. Um, I too will uh, I'll vote to accept the resignation with regret and with um, much thanks and for all the excellent work that April has done for us and, and the district while she's been here. Um, is there any other discussion? I would like to make sure that the next one here is done. Good point. Yeah, and I um, I had thought I would check in with the school board association and ask you know what what they recommend and um, I I will take care of that if if that's if those are the wishes of the board. I, I'm, I missed one, so I'm sorry. I would like an exit interview done with you okay. before she leaves. Any other discussion? Any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. Motion passes um, and the resignation is accepted with regrets and our deepest thanks for all the work you've done. Uh, I think that April has done excellent work. She's leaving us, I think, in a very good place um, with regard to how our books are in order. Can you tell us where we are on this, the audit that's underway <laughs> for the year ending when, last 2021? I think so, yes. Uh, so it was, I don't know, is it Dalton? How do you say that? I'm not sure how you say it. Anyway, so he has been in contact saying, I haven't forgotten about you, I haven't forgotten about you. So during tax season, they don't do any audits. So they'll sure. be gearing up again right now. And he had, he was up front. Yep. 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 And I have sent them all of the information. So randomly, he'll say, oh, can you send me these records and that record type thing? So he has everything. So, uh, and he was hoping that he would have it this summer. So I'll reach out to him again and let him know that. Um, and I, I asked, I mentioned before the meeting, um, if April would uh, freshen up the standard of effort report that will be, some of you, Monica may have never seen it. And this is a comparison of Oaks Public School District with lots of financial indicators, salaries, um, school size, tax base, tax ball valuation for students and um, that we have done a number of times and we compare with, um, well, Allendale because they're in our same county, Park River, Carrington, and maybe Velva, similar size schools. I think it was, was it Velva? It was Velva. Oh, you have seen it? Okay, mm -hmm. I know it's Carrington. And Park River and Allen, no, maybe we didn't pull Bell, but maybe I've just talked. Maybe about there was one that I tried, but I couldn't get any information from. So it's it's interesting and good information for us and for to share with our stakeholders. That uh, so she'll freshen that up. Uh, I think she's got the budget. Um, is, it is oh, let's see. 
Well, yeah, you can just <laughs> Um, is there, are there any other show up? <laughs> any other requests that where what about the three and five year plan? Is that something we have to do this year? Okay, so that's required by law and that is underway. Um, um, I just want to also say that I thought April was a really good gift for the district. She's going to be really, really nice. So really sorry to see you both. But then um, with our negotiated agreement, we were going through that making mm -hmm. some notes. Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, thank you. Yes, I agree that April was an, was an excellent fit and did great work for us. Um, brought us along in our use of the um, the our software program, which um, had not been fully utilized. Um, and um, you know, I. I when, when when I learned that Tom was leaving us, I, I that was kind of a panic because that was 41 years. He, he was the only one left from when I was in high school. Right. Mm -hmm. So uh, as as good as April has done for us, she can and will be replaced, and we will move on. And we wish you the best in your new position. Having said that, um, last night when I got home uh, from my state board meetings, I went quickly on to well, some of my files as well as the school board association. Uh, I've got April's, uh, the business manager evaluation blank form, uh, the comments that we made at the last, her last evaluation. And it's um, important to note that there are 14 pages of duties assigned to business managers in the North Dakota Century Code. So there's lots of stuff. And, um, and I have a template from the School Board Association for a business manager job description, which doesn't match ours exactly, but having worked on statewide boards um, with other administrators and school board members, it is clear that while all business managers in North Dakota are responsible for doing all these things, there are different models of how business managers are employed and how school districts do things. For example, the board member, um, yes. that's a colleague of mine on the state board and I visited yesterday and she's in a smaller district. Um, their business manager, and they're, and they're moving towards having a half-time superintendent. Their superintendent is reaching retirement and he's going to phase out at least to, um, in a year or so be a half-time superintendent and they recently hired a business manager who supervises who the board assigns to supervise a number of their um, their employees um they also um contract out all of their payroll services which is fairly easy to do and they do that with a one of the well actually the southeast education cooperative um, I'm not suggesting that we want to do either of those things, but I would like uh, to form a committee. I think it's an excellent time to review what we have done, what can be done, and um, maybe revamp the job to get us even better. So I am seeking some volunteers to serve on such a committee. Wonderful, a good volunteer. A committee of what? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, good. Then I'll, I'll go ahead and, and I'll go ahead and yeah. present diplomas <laughs> at graduation. You know, <laughs> there you go. There you go. That. <laughs> so uh, with that, I'll appoint a committee of Sheila and Ryan to do some research, working with Mr. Getz and, and with April. Um, and I think, you know, while this isn't an emergency, um, I don't want to just say post the job today in its present form without doing some due diligence, but is a week enough time to do some research and and come back with some some thoughts? And, and maybe, maybe it's, no, we want exactly the same thing, but it's just a good time to step back and review a little bit. Okay. Sure. So what is the process? look like after that it does the board interview all the yes we the, did the last time um yeah, i wasn't involved last time yeah. so i'm not sure how yeah. the process that, works, that, so. that i believe i have that email 
straight from last time when you were communicating. And I believe that's required that all board members have to be present. Oh, yeah. Do we do finalists, top three, or is it just? I, th I think we had around eight applicants and we met and I think as we did with superintendents, we, we vetted each of the applications um, and selected finalists to be interviewed, but that was in executive session. Right. Um, and then and then we chose finalists to be interviewed, and that those are in open session. I believe we interviewed we interviewed at least three. I thought it was four. I thought it was four. I thought we interviewed four, but I couldn't think of the fourth one. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sure. You'll remind me. <laughs> All right. So we hope to have a report back um, from our committee uh, with how to proceed. Uh, and in the meantime, I mean, it's it, what. When do you think you're you're starting? I start training the week of May 16. Um, I I can help out if it, if my weird hours to make sure payroll and expenses are paid at least till the end of the month. Like I said, I know May is difficult because of the contracts we have to pay off the teachers and stuff like that. So I mean, I, I can finish up what I can. Um, I just I won't be here every day from eight to four or whatever. Okay. And then should we not have someone hired by say the end of May, then um, alternatives are to work with a neighboring there's a couple different one that you, one would be working with a neighboring district um, another one i know uh, the more a couple of years ago or a few years ago whenever they had their business manager replaced um, they went with seek for the time span until they could apply higher so they didn't have to rush um, so that was a another option there is to go through seek or that was been used a few times more and more through the just checking to see what kind of options we have to protect the district. That was one that keeps coming up. This okay. All right. Any other questions or concerns? If not, once again, uh, regrets and thank you for all of your excellent work over the last few years. And thank you for your willingness to continue and help us as best you can as we need you and um, for helping our committee to uh, evaluate and review and perhaps update and make uh, the position fit us even better in the future. Anything else? If not, I'll adjourn the meeting. No? We did vote. Mm -hmm. Do we, we have to vote on the committee? It is, well, you just did a motion carried. No, I didn't. We, we, we did a voice vote. Oh, you did. Okay. Should we do a roll call? Oh, that's up to you. Okay. <laughs> oh, I thought you were taking a roll call. My bad. Oh, sorry. I heard everybody say yes. You're good. All right. Okay. So I'll adjourn the meeting at 7.42 a.m. Thank you. Is there a committee meeting? <laughs> <laughs>